All right, time for clarification. As some as you might have noticed, my videos tend to be a bit all over the place, right? I have these updates where I just talk about what's been going on with my YouTubing journey. I have these cinematic videos that tell some stories and try to give a lesson. I have videos where I draw and I try to learn and share my lessons. And I have these videos. Something fell down. <laughs> um, oh man, I got so distracted by that. Anyway, well, my point is, I have a lot of types of videos and uh, sometimes it's my face showing and sometimes I don't. And you might be wondering, Ruben, why do you do this? And I actually have had people who are like, if you just stuck to a single topic, Ruben, you have, you would have more, way more views. <laughs> and, or you could have made way more views. The potential is there because people might not be interested in everything you talk about. And you know, that makes a lot of sense if you care about views. And I'm gonna like, I care a little about views, but that's not the main point right now in my channel. The reason I'm doing all these various topics and all these various video styles is because I want to explore and experiment and know myself better. You know, if I picked a single topic, like I tried in the very beginning, video games, and I'm gonna be like, oh, now I'm just gonna talk about video games all the time. I'm gonna have so many more interests and maybe it doesn't even resonate with people because there are already tons of people doing video games. Same with anything else. I could talk about self-development and becoming a better person, and feeling better about yourself. But again, tons of people do that. So what I'm trying to do here is find an angle. <laughs> uh, and I do this by doing all sorts of stuff. And I try to find an angle that's new, unique, and that resonates with people. Does this slow down my growth? Probably because people subscribe and suddenly it's an entirely different topic. But I got some fans who watch every video of mine. I do it for them. Thank you so much. It, it keeps me going knowing that at least a couple of people will watch anything I post. Another point I want to make is that I get, I, I get to know myself so much more by exploring all these things. You know, th these are the first videos I'm ever gonna make. And I don't know what certain processes are like. For example, if I make a video that uses a ton of GIFs and other people's footage, like my last video, that has an entirely different feel to it than a video like this and where I just talk. And I just find it so interesting how, how different the same end result, like a video watchable on YouTube can make you feel. And I'm still exploring that. And I see the thing is, I have some people who think that I care about views. And again, I do care a little about views, but it's more so from a fact that I know what resonates with people more. Like I, I don't really have much indication for what resonates with people. I mean, I have a lot of stats in YouTube, like likes and how much many people watch through until the end. But the main metric to see how well a video is hitting people is views because a video gets pushed more if it resonates with people. Like they watched all the way through the end. They're like, oh my God, I want to listen to this guy. That's, you know, one of the best ways to know. And as I said, I'm exploring to see where it resonates with people because I don't want to be a carbon copy of anyone else. There's a reason I call this channel Ruben because I don't want to decide a topic. Honestly, if I have found a topic and it really resonates with people, I don't think I even do it on this channel. I want this channel to be my exploration zone. I, 
I don't, don't ever want to feel like I'm stuck in a single topic. I want to do whatever I want to, even if no one cares, because I want, I don't want a pressure of feeling like I have to post a certain something. I want to post whatever I want, at least on this channel called Ruben. And I decided to do this year long exploration of just posting whatever specifically to later, perhaps create a separate channel and focus on what did best. What are people most interested in? So yeah, if you, if you don't care about all the things I talk about, that's totally fair. Honestly, I don't think there is a channel like me. I would want to watch with topics all over the place. It's too, and you know. Not everyone is going to be 100% into the things I'm into and the things I find interesting. So those who actually stick around, I'm flattered, okay? Thank you so much for watching. And if you watch this until the end, wow, interesting. You want to know why I do so many various topics? I appreciate that, okay? Thank you for watching and see you on perhaps another video. Bye-bye.